Hey folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today you're going to learn how to give your photos that old film look using film grain textures in Photoshop. I have some overlays for you to download. Make sure to check out the description below. It's by this company called Behance and they are amazing grain textures. Once you have that downloaded, let's open up Photoshop. I'm just going to go ahead and drag one of these pictures in. So we're going to start with this. I'm going to go through the overlays and see which one I think would be good. I think this one would be neat. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag that on top and I'm going to reshape this. Now we are going to overlay this texture on top of the photo. Make sure the texture layer is selected here and then click that arrow beside normal. So when you mouse over, you can see what each effect is going to look like. So just go through it until you find something that you like. I think I like the linear dodge add blending mode. So I'm going to select that. You have a couple of options here. Do you want to make it a black and white photo? Let's see what that looks like. So if you click this button in the bottom right corner, you'll see an option that says black and white. I'm going to drag that in between the texture and the background. So just compare what do you like better. I think I like a little bit of color. So what I'm going to do is keep the black and white on, but I'm going to change the opacity so it's just a little, a little faded. So there's a little bit of color, but not too much color. Well, I think I'm done with this one. Let's move on to the next one. I'm going to drag that on here. So we got this nice photo of a man in the mountains. So again, let's look through the textures and see what we like. I'm going to give this one a try, texture number four. So let's drag this on top. And you can see that there's a little bit of picture on the edges. So I'm just going to make sure that this overlay covers the entire photo. Press the check mark when you're done. Now let's play with the blending modes. I'm going to go with screen and I'm going to add a black and white layer on top. Nice. Well, that's pretty much it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more Adobe tutorials. Have a great rest of your day, folks.